everyone, welcome to an unfiltered gamer review, and this time we're doing Head Chef. I am Ferdinand, the cardboard stacker, special guest, and our sp another special guest, Callie Welsh from Unfiltered Gamer. Okay, let's so let's go ahead and take a deeper look at this wonderful cooking game. Okay, Head Chef is a game published by Sea Star Game and designed by Peter Griciola. And let's go ahead and go through the setup through the game. So you're setting up, you have these player boards here, and they go all up to 20 victory points. You have the deck here, which contains your food cards. And everyone gets a character card. So there's quite a bit of character cards here, and you only get one. And you also get power cards as well, and a little reference of your menu or what kind of recipes you can make. The object of Head Chef is to get the most fame by creating a you know, elaborate food items in your restaurant. So uh, what you're going to do is everyone's going to get a hand of, starting with a hand of food cards. First player only gets one, next player gets two, three, four, so on. One to four players. And on your turn, you have uh, four action cubes that you can use. You can use those ac action cubes to draw a card, to play ingredient cards from your hand that matches the menu. So right here we'd have meat, bread, onion to match one of the menu items, and you'd get that many number of fame points. And then uh, you can also use your cube, action cubes, to play one of your power cards. Everyone has the same number of power cards, but they can only be used once, so use them wisely throughout the game. As everyone begins with a character card, a unique one, they have each a special ability. For example, the cheese maker gets to draw two extra cards when they play a food card that has cheese in it. And shopper will get free cards for buying leftovers, and if you do, you get another card. In a typical turn, you use an action cube, move it to one side to indicate you have used an action, depending what kind of action you do. One of the main things you can do is play, uh, make a recipe from the menu. So I have here uh, four, and that makes a sandwich. So I would get the number of points listed here, which is four. So when you make food, for example, getting four points for making a sandwich, you move your cube up to four points. Now at one at a time, you'll be reaching the cafe area in which you will have to spend a cube on your um cube section to actually move on and gain more points to reach the end. You can also use an action cube on your turn to play one of your power cards. Everyone has the same power cards, but you can only use them once. For example, you could spend an action cube and use spill the beans to take back two action cubes from your uh, used action pile. That gives you more actions during your turn. Or perhaps you want to double dip and draw four cards from the deck. And then at the end of your turn, after you use all your action cubes, if you have more than four cards, they be the ones you have extra to get rid of will become leftovers, which other players can buy for action cube. All right, let's go into the review. Let's see how much we enjoyed Head Chef. <laughs> I really liked Head Chef. It's a light, friendly family game that plays pretty quickly. It's a little bit, it's a little bit competitive. There's one winner, but it's everyone's working towards a goal, so it's a friendly competition. Yeah, and there's you know, there's a quite a lot of decisions you can make on a turn for a very light game too. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's like a a, a we got six power cards out there, and you're able to think, should I save my food, or should I keep them just for a later turn, because I have higher level ones. Hopefully, I can draw the right ones later on. Mm -hmm. Do I play a lot of small ingredient uh, menu items, or save up for the larger ones? Mm -hmm. Do I play my powers now, or wait till other people have played theirs? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Very good. Okay. And characters. I mean, there are a boatload of characters in this game. I mean, this it's a deck of characters. You only get one in a game. But they are do they do pretty interesting stuff. Like the one we said, the cheese maker. And you play cheese, which is very funny. Yeah. That you get more <laughs> stuff and you play cheese. And then, yeah, there's, yeah, so these it's quite a lot. I mean, like, what do you think? Like over 10? over yeah. Like at least 15? And you can choose, uh, you get a choice at the beginning. You dr can draw mm -hmm. two and choose one of the characters that you want to play. 
So, uh, so there's a lot of replayability in this game. Yes, there's mm -hmm. definitely a lot. You could get different characters. You could even, you know, choose a little bit more on the characters if you wanted to make a house rule for that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and the power cards are very also interesting too because you only, you get six of them available, but once mm -hmm. you use them, they're gone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The only thing uh, we could say is the menu is a little light. I mean, all the items are, are uh, you know, sort of the same. You know, you're always going to have to have a bread and a meat to make anything. Mm -hmm. um, could could have more variety maybe on the art of the cards for different types of bread or something. Yeah, could some, be kind of fun. Yeah, sometimes a person can just like try to look for bread and just cannot buy bread, yeah. unfortunately. Good thing there's lef leftovers that can actually, that, that do help with that. Mm -hmm, like you have mm -hmm. to take that opportunity. But sometimes just people just play cards and uh, that'll be it for them. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think overall, Ferdinand? I li enjoyed this game. It's light, it's fun, it's fast. Mm -hmm. And there's quite a lot of repellability in this. Okay. That's Head Chef, you guys. <laughs> yeah, go ahead and take, check it out on Kickstarter. Uh, it's going to be up for uh, now, I believe, right? That's another Unfiltered Gamer board game review. Make sure you check out Ferdinand on his channel, The Cardboard Stacker. And check us out on unfilteredgamer.com for more board game giveaways, reviews, blogs, and all that. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and we will see, see you, you next time. time.